Hi, let's now have a look at truths and affixes as a vocabulary expansion technique. Um, this is actually a different technique, uh, probably something that you have never used before, but you start the same way as uh, with vocabulary map or semantic map. So you first read an article and then you collect new and challenging words. But the only difference here is that you need to focus on words that have affixes. Um, so you can see the same abstracts that are used in the semantic and vocabulary map practices. And now I use a little bit different set of words. Uh, I also, at first I circled more words, but then I decided to proceed with less words. And those words that are pretty familiar to me, I'm not using here because, well, what's the point? Uh, then on the second stage, you need to group the words according to the affixes. So what you see here in green, these are suffixes. So the group of letters that are after the root of the words. In the first case, it's Asian for words, obligation and implications. In the second group, it's al, detrimental, managerial, dismissal. And in the third group, I have prefixes, the same prefix pre for prerogative and preventing. Next, I need to separate the affix from the root. And you can see it here, how I did that. And here it becomes clear that, well, okay, I group them according to some affixes, but they also have roots and they also have other parts of the word there. So I basically need to analyze all of them in order to understand the meaning of the word. And next goes uh, stage number four and five. So I start by defining and explaining the affix. First, something that combines all those words. And then I uh, need to look um, on the to look at the root of the word, what it actually means. If there are any other affixes, I also need to find out what their meaning is. And then afterwards, benefiting all the knowledge that I have, I need to figure out what the meaning of the word is. And quite often the meaning might be something historical, but kind of something that derives from something. And then it means something close to the historical meaning, but still different in modern age. So uh, for obligation and implication, I use this Asian suffix. And I found that it means state of being, or it is also added to verbs to form nouns showing action or condition. So let's start with obligation. Obligation has also the root, which is oblig. And uh, oblig means to, uh, to bind by oath. So the meaning would be that uh, the word is related to a condition that one has to obey one's duty. And it does make sense. Uh, next. For the word implication, we have the prefix im, which means usually not or without, but when I dig deeper, because it doesn't make any sense here, uh, actually in this case, it is an assimilated form of in, which means into, being into something. Then we have the root plik, which is uh, coming from uh, the root plek, which means to fold or to plate. Um, so, that would be something like action of being involved in plating something. And if we think more about it and read about the historical meaning of the word, then it actually does make sense that it is something that will have effect in the future. And then we had the second group of words that we grouped uh, by uh, the same suffix al, uh, connected with something. And with detrimental, we have this prefix de, which means away. Then we have three uh, root, which means derived, uh, the, the, the root uh, derived from perere, which meant to rub, to wear. So something that causes harm due to being used too much. 
then uh, managerial for managerial we have uh, the root which is quite familiar to all of us uh, manage which means to handle and to direct and so it is related to or connected with directing ruling for dismissal we have the uh, prefix dis which means opposite apart away and miss comes uh, from the word mission so here it's very easy to understand that it's taking someone away from their job or from their mission so dismissal and then the last group we had uh, with the prefix pre, which means before, earlier, so prerogative. Uh, in the word prerogative, the uh, root would be roga, which is the same as rogere historically, and that meant to ask for a favor. And if you like dig, dig a little bit deeper, that would be uh, historically the privilege of doing something connected with doing it before others. So some people were allowed to do something before others, and that was considered uh, as their privilege. So uh, to ask for a favor before, if you combine all of those parts. And then preventing, vent would be the root, and it derives from venire, uh, venire which meant to come, uh, and to come earlier, to do something before something else happens to act sooner. And that's basically what preventing means. So once again, uh, with this strategy, remember that the main idea is to memorize words better. If you learn the most commonly used uh, affixes and roots, it will be easier for you to understand some of the new words, uh, especially quite many academic and formal words. But it does take some effort to work with this strategy. But I hope you can try it. So good luck with this strategy as well.